Today we're checking out Super Machine. It's a lifetime deal on AppSumo and it's an image generator. It uses stable diffusion, which is currently all the rage for image generators, and it's likely one of many upcoming deals on AppSumo that generate images. It's important that you watch this video because this deal is non-refundable. I'll show you where it says that. Let's go down to the reviews area and back up and right here, this deal is non-refundable. So if you wanted to buy it to try it out to see if you like it and then return it, not gonna work with this one. So make sure you keep watching this video. Just a quick FYI, I've started another channel that's dedicated to lifetime deals like the ones you find right here on AppSumo. The reason I did this is because there's a lot of deals that I buy that aren't relevant to WordPress, but I still use them in my online businesses. So I encourage you to check out that channel subscribe to it, help me kickstart it, and let's make it the best lifetime deal channel on YouTube. And that way I can help you find the best software deals for you and your business without you having to buy them and refund them and go through all that pain. So check out that channel. It's linked to in the description down below. And if you have any questions or comments about this specific video, please leave them down below as well. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to this channel as well. Let's get back to it. This deal provides 750 image credits per month. And you can stack to get an additional 750 per month, you probably stack as many as you can. Probably not, it says additional codes, maybe just one stack. I haven't stacked it, so I'm not sure exactly. But 750 a month, and that's for life. Lifetime access, not a one year deal as far as I can tell. Lifetime access and non-refundable. So if we get into Stable Diffusion, not Stable Diffusion, sorry, Super Machine, which uses Stable Diffusion, I've been messing around a bit. As you can see, I made some images down here. And it's actually pretty cool. If you click on this image, this is the prompt I used. A puppy in pastel colors, comma, a very detailed, super cute puppy with a soft and cuddly feel, period. A mix of pastel colors, comma, super detailed, comma, soft and cuddly like a teddy bear, period. 8K, comma, smooth, comma, sharp focus. That's the prompt. I didn't write that myself. I'll show you how I came up with that in a minute. And that's really the hardest part with AI image generators is the prompt because I would like to type in just cute puppy and then something gnarly comes out the other end. So being very specific in what you want and the style you want it is very, very helpful for the AI. One of the ways you can improve your prompts is using the improve prompts tool. This is something that is built into Super Machine. I haven't seen this built in anywhere else. I've used a bunch of different tools. But if we type in here, really fast car is what we want to make a picture of. Click on generate improvements. There's a bar at the top of the browser that loads. And here we have improvements. So it adds in all these different parameters for the AI to create better images for you. And it also adds in people's names. Jeremy Mann is an artist. Um, let's see. Down here, Michael Rosen is an artist. CC Society is an artist. So it'll adapt their styles. It will also go to ArtStation, see what's on there. Make it in the style of a digital painting. Illustrator, you can make it in oil colors, pastels, watercolors. You define exactly how you want the AI to construct the image. And in theory, the more detailed your prompt, the better the result's gonna be. Let's take this one. Let's just copy that. Go over to Make Images, paste it in here. You can choose different sizes. They cost varying amounts of credits. So the square costs one credit. Let's see if I can zoom in there. There we go. Square is one credit. Uh, standard six by 19, 16 by 19 is also one credit. Landscape is one and a half credits. Uh, tall is one and a half credits. And get ready for this. Portrait is 1.3 credits. Why? I don't know. But it's 0.2 credits less than, what were they? Landscape and tall. Anyhow, it shows you how many credits you're going to use making this image. They're also non-refundable. If you don't like the image, you can delete it from your, your list down here, but you don't get the credits back. And you can also select from advanced styling. So if you recall a moment ago, we had those artists' names inside the prompts. 
here are a bunch more artists. Hopefully, you know exactly what all their works look like. Because if you do, that would be super helpful. If you don't, and you click on their name, it's just going to add the name right here, anyone you click. And if you don't know what their art looks like, you should look them up on Google. It would be great if Super Machine made a PDF where it's like five or six pages for every one of these artists so you can kind of scroll through and see what each one would generate. Or another idea, if you click on the name right here, if there's a little pop-up that shows examples of some of their real life works, and then you know what kind of style is going to be applied to your picture. That would be super helpful. You can also choose drawing style. Here's all kinds of different drawing styles. Visual style. Pens. Carving and etching. Camera. Color. Emotions. As you can see, there's lots of different things you can add to your prompts. CGI software. CGI rendering. Cyberpunk derivatives. Biopunk, Nanopunk, and Atom Punk. Cyber Prep, Solar Punk. Didn't know any of these existed, but they sound pretty fun. Elf Punk, awesome. Um, so let's just close this up. We're just going to use the prompt with those two artists we added through the advanced styling and click on Generate Image. Now we're going to wait under 15 seconds, usually about 7 seconds ish, and we're going to see our new picture. So there we have our image. You can now copy the prompt to try again. This is useful if you, say, made an image way back here and you don't want to write out the whole prompt again. You can just click on it, copy the prompt, make another version of it, or use that prompt as a basis to build out another image idea. You can also download the image right here. This is a landscape size. That's why it's a bit bigger. You can also delete the image. Click on the trash can. Select, I don't like output, it's poor quality, or black image filtered, and then hit the garbage can, and it's deleted. You can also upscale. Upscaling is pretty cool, because you have this image size, well, let me go back here. You have this image size of whatever the size is, portrait, I don't know what it is, but there's a specific image size that you have. And now if you click anywhere outside of the upscale button, it's gonna show your image in this pop-up. If you click on the upscale button, it's going to show this little item here. You can choose the 4x upscale or upscale and face enhance. Either of those will both use one image credit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to download this image so we get a sense of the original size. Call it race car portrait, and then we'll upscale it 4x. We're not going to face enhance because there's no face there. Although it might be fun to try to see what the AI does. You just never know what it does. Click on confirm upscale. This also takes seven ish seconds. Up there is a notification image is being upscaled. There's a little progress bar at the top of the browser. Once that's done, it's going to download automatically, I believe. And it didn't supposed to download automatically. Maybe I pressed the wrong thing or something. Let's try that again. Use another credit. Let's do it again. The image is being upscaled, but will automatically be downloaded in a few seconds. Please do not close this page. Got it. Super Machine says, please select a file. I'm not sure what that means. Please select a file. Looks like we maybe found a bug and it keeps eating our credits. So I can't show you the upscaling, clearly. That was working previously, not working now. So I'll show you some other stuff instead. So we have different image sizes, as you can see from the drop down here, depending on what your needs are. When the upscaler works, it'll upscale the images. I like to see it where you can upload non-AI generated images and upscale those. That'd be super handy, or improve them with AI. So what I did here is I have three prompts, this one, this one, and this one, that are all the same. I just did the same prompt over and over and over again, three times, and it made three different images. There's that one. The, the prompt is uh, female hyena in the style of Zootopia. 
uh, floating in space. Those are the main important items, I think. So I did that three times. And we got three very distinct different images. I actually deleted two other ones that were just terrible. And so these are the three I, I stuck with. And then I thought, that's nice. Those are pretty good. Let's try St. Bernard. So all I did was change from hyena to St. Bernard. And that's it. These look pretty good. And this one, this one's kind of funny. This one looks pretty good right here. Close up of a St. Bernard. Looks super photo photorealistic. Looks like a great animation. And then, ah, what's this? It's like two St. Bernards fused together, which might be an interesting concept for like a bad guy or something. I don't know. And what is this? Is a gold tooth down here hanging from his mouth? Anyway, it threw that out. That would be a delete, but I thought it was funny, so I showed it to you. And this is the same prompt again in the totally different looks. And that's what I find one of the big problems is with these AI generators is is if you wanted to have a character that you use in a book, for example, like a children's book, we've got this hyena right here. And let's say I want this hyena for my book. It's a great hyena. I want now this hyena in different situations doing different things. So I'm gonna use the same prompt, I guess, and then whoop, totally different hyena. And then do it again and uh oh, totally different hyena. That's the big problem. You can't take a character and put that same character into different environments. Apparently that's coming. It's not here yet, but I'm sure next week or something will be an absolute deal for that. But apparently it's coming. They don't say it's coming to Super Machine, although it might be. Their roadmap is pretty sparse. But that is coming as a technology in the near future where you can create a character that you really like, like this hyena, and you can have this hyena throughout whatever you're working on. That would be pretty cool. Another way to get image prompts. I got this one from Lexica, which is basically a big database of images. If we search for, I don't know, space forest, I'm sure it'll come up with something. So here we have all kinds of space forests. Look at this crazy one. You click on it and it has the prompt that the person used to make this image. Uh, the bottom has different versions as well. All the same prompt again. Totally different, crazy, crazy stuff sometimes. But that's what helps you creativity, right? Like you might not think of this, but you can now see this and you're like, oh, wow, that's, that's a great idea. Now I've got another idea that I can add on to this with. I think that's what AI is really handy for. So if we were to copy this prompt and I clicked it instead of copied it, let's just use this one instead. Click on copy prompt right here. That actually looks pretty cool. Kind of retro old school image. It must be 300 millimeter Canon camera. So you can define like the cameras you use, the lenses you use. It's pretty slick, this AI image generation. I'm gonna paste that in here, copied from Lexica. I'm gonna make it square. I'm gonna generate image, seven to 15 seconds and it'll be done down here. And it won't be this image. It'll be similar, but it won't be that. As you can see, it's similar, but it's not that. It actually looks a little more realistic. It looks super out of focus, because that's the, the camera type that was chosen. It's not because the AI can't put it in focus. It's actually, we, were, we told it to use old school cameras. And so it looks out of focus. Let's see if we can upscale the square. I'll download it first, just in case it works, so we can compare. Let's click on upscale, 4x upscale, confirm upscale, and it says please select a file. I feel like that's a bug, or that's like my Chrome causing that problem. Some I have to bring up with support, but upscale is not working for me on this image, or which is portrait, or the squares. So I'm just gonna assume it's not working right now. So that's really all of it. And I've got some more examples of what I did here. Photorealistic sunset over the ocean. I also set in here cliffs in the prompt, but there are no cliffs here as far as I can tell. Although it might be taken from a cliff because it looks quite high off the water. So the AI probably said, oh, they wanna be standing on a cliff. 
If I try this prompt again, it might generate actual cliffs in the scene. Who knows? You just got to try. You burn through a lot of credits just trying different things. Even when you know what you're doing, even when you know the exact style you want, you're going to burn through a lot of credits getting just the picture you want. And even then, you might have to take that picture that you really like and put it into a photo editor to get it just right. Like this one, for example, I believe watched over by machines cybernetic this is kind of like horizon zero dawn kind of stuff deer well as you can tell that it looks like a deer but they're all messed up ai tends to make a lot of things look pretty messed up this human here this guy looks a little like he's not doing so well right there and this is i tried to do a a wireframe of a website of a soccer website so it got the soccer it got the website but the wireframe doesn't look great but wouldn't it be cool if if you had a client and they're like hey can you show me some website ideas yeah sure you boot up super machine you're like okay wireframe me a website for an hvac company and it's just bing a beautiful wireframe and do it again makes a different one that'd be super slick but this isn't there not yet anyway maybe in the future uh here's another one another wireframe um you could get your creative juices going something like this kind of a cool background interesting colors try to make a headshot of a businessman only got half the head though this, this is my example of you got to do it again and again and and try to get better pictures this one's actually pretty cool this was the first try for this one Took me three tries to get this businessman over here. I got some uh, pretty creepy ones before this guy who looks pretty normal. It's just he can't see his eyes, but he looks pretty normal other than that. And this one is pretty cool. Looks like it's got an artist signature at the bottom there. Not sure what that is, but that's a pretty cool style. Then I tried a uh, recipe, carrot soup, photorealistic and Jeremy Mann is an artist, so I probably shouldn't have included him. I used this used the prompt generator you saw earlier. But it looks like a pretty legit carrot soup. Like if you're making a, a story about, I don't know, who knows what, and they're having carrot soup, that's a pretty good picture to have in your story. And this puppy that we saw at the beginning looks like a teddy bear, and we actually say cuddly like a teddy bear. So it doesn't look super real, but that's actually a pretty good looking puppy. If you were to tell me to draw this or paint this or take a picture of this, I'd be like, uh, okay. But it wouldn't be this. Like, it would be similar, but it, it's it's pretty good. Like, I, I can't really complain about a lot of the material in here. I actually quite enjoy this car. The more I look at it, the more I like it. Just the design and the style. Uh, anyway, so that's Super Machine. And going back to AppSumo again, if you do buy on AppSumo, you can go through the link in the description down below. It is an affiliate link. So if you do purchase through that, I will get credit for that. And that helps me keep making these videos. And if the AppSumo deal is over by the time you watch this, that could be a link to Super Machine itself. And it would be an affiliate link if they have an affiliate program, just so you know. It does not make it more expensive for you to buy. This means I get some credit to help me keep making these videos. And it's $69 one time or you can stack it and it's lifetime and it's non-refundable so make sure you want to stick with it because you can't get a refund not for this deal and as a side note I'm starting another channel it's focused on lifetime deals deals like you see on AppSumo there's a lot of stuff on AppSumo that I buy that isn't relevant to WordPress or building websites and so I don't make videos featuring that on this channel because that wouldn't make a lot of sense. So I'm making the other channel so I can make videos of the other software that I buy and use from AppSumo. If you want to check that out, there's a link to the other channel down below in the description. If you want to subscribe to that, that would be super and that would be awesome. If you want to subscribe to that channel, help me kickstart it. There's a link to it in the description down below. I really appreciate you following that channel as well. Next up, check out this playlist right here, which has AppSumo deals relevant to WordPress and websites. And then down below is the playlist on my other channel that's specific to lifetime deals with all kinds of deals, not just ones that are right for WordPress and websites. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.